What's up guys, Mizzo Frizzo from Pitchfork Academy here, and in this Unreal Engine 5.6 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download and add some free grooms to your MetaHumans in the MetaHuman Creator plugin in Unreal Engine 5.6. So as you can see, I've got this MetaHuman here, and we've got all of the grooms that come as standard with the MetaHuman Creator plugin. But if I scroll down to the bottom here, I've got this free one that I've downloaded off of Fab, and I've added this to my MetaHuman like so. They're pretty nice grooms. So without further ado, let me show you how to do this. Alrighty guys, so here are the free grooms for your MetaHumans from Epic Games, and I'll link this page in the description, but you should also take note that there is also these MetaHuman Groom Starter Kits for Maya and Houdini. And if you're interested in creating your own MetaHuman Grooms in Maya or Houdini, it's worth noting these ones here. It says these MetaHuman Groom Starter Kits for Houdini and Maya provide a basic groom setup, sample files, and a structured workflow for authoring strand-based grooms for MetaHuman characters on Fab. But today we're just going to look at how to add these uh, free grooms to your MetaHuman creator in Unreal Engine 5.6. So as you can see here, I've already got this long high ponytail groom saved in my library. So I'm going to head into this one. And once you've added this to your library, you can just hit download and click this little icon here to start the download. So I'm back in my project here and I'm using the MetaHuman Creator plugin in Unreal Engine 5.6. And if you don't know how to access the MetaHuman Creator right here in Engine, I've also got a very quick video showing you how to access this MetaHuman Creator plugin in 5.6. Uh, but I've already started creating this MetaHuman and all I'm going to do now in my content folder is navigate to that downloaded Groom and I can just drag that into the content browser and that will import that groom. And as you can see here, it says asset has been imported with no messages. So that has worked. And then you can just uh, grab not the groom binding, but this other asset here and just drag it into your MetaHuman creator and drag it into the hair grooms section here. And then if we scroll down to the bottom, we can see that that one has added here. And I'll just double click that to apply it to my MetaHuman. And there we have it. We have imported that new groom and applied it to our MetaHuman in the MetaHuman Creator plugin. And that's it, guys. If this video has been of any use or value to you whatsoever, please hit like and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one.